Hello, welcome to Media Pool. I'm Chen Jin. In my video essay, I will discuss what works and what doesn't work in my video plan, production, and promotion work. Meanwhile, I will use YouTube metrics of my Media Geek and Media Culture video to support my reflection on contagiousness and the engagement of my video. I think there are three main media theories that influence my work. The first is Burgess Steps Framework. It explains six principles of contagiousness, including social currency, triggers, emotion, public, practical value, and stories. Second, I will discuss how I deal with students' engagement with my video in video production by relating to Guo Kim and Robin's work. Finally, considering my promotion, I will reflect on my applying the tips about social media campaigning. The viral media life cycle and weak tie can also help me to reflect on my attempts of increasing contagiousness and engagement of my video in diffusion stage. My plan and contagious characteristics. I think my media geek video is more contagious than my media culture video. In my media geek video, I share the definition of cinematography and focus on explaining the camera position for media beginners. There are more views and shares in my media geek video, so I think it might be relevant to trigger and practical value that being mentioned in Steps Framework. As Berger states, practical value and trigger mean that people tend to share videos that can help others and prompt people to think about related things. Specifically, I use vlog to explain how to effectively read the camera angle and camera distance together. This choice can be a trigger for those who are interested in vlog to watch my video. In addition, vlog is also used as an example to encourage viewers to apply the theory in daily life, because vlog is quite popular among my target audiences, young people who are interested in media studies. So they are more willing to share my video with this useful practical value and a trigger to others. Although my media culture video is less contagious, on the first day when I publish all my videos, my media culture video receives more views than media geek one. I think it's also influenced by the Burgers contagious principles. This video talks about a three-day tour from Austria to Croatia by focusing on self-driving. I provide some detailed suggestions about renting cars, driving in Austria, and the best driving directions to Croatia. With using voiceover and maps, audiences can have an informative feeling, which can reflect the practical value of my travel vlog directly. To make my video more contagious, I not only show the fascinating and attractive scenes in different cities, but also put some funny clips in it, such as the comparison between me and my friend standing on the diving board. These clips can combine together to provide the exciting, desirable, and humorous emotion for audiences, just as Burger indicates. Emotional things often get shared. My production and audience engagement. In terms of audience engagement, I think my media culture video performs better. In my process of video production, I mainly draw on Guo Kim and Robin's work about the influence of media production on viewers' engagement. They indicate that first, short videos are more engaging. Second, instructors talking head can attract more attention. Third, engaging videos should produce a more personal feeling in an informal setting. Fourth, can style table drawing is more engaging. Finally, instructors should speak fairly fast and with high enthusiasm. In general, the metrics of watch time and audience retention of these two videos both confirm that my short three-minute videos are engaging. To be more specific, in my media culture video, I adapt the suggestions from Guo et al. and Burgers and Green. I create the travel vlog with my talking head and show the more personal feel, which can accelerate engagement by creating a familiar and friendly feeling that resembles interpersonal communication. Other than that. To attract my target audiences, those who are interested in traveling in Europe, I use the vlog style to generate the tourist gaze for them. The video filmed from the perspective of tourists, including taking pictures and the scene of lake and snow in my video, can have reflexive performance and create a social bond for audiences, so that they can have better engagement with the video. My media geek video is not that satisfying. Because of the nature of this video is education, I combine the cognitive load theory with Guo Etel's work. To attract audiences' attention, I pay attention to involving my talking head and using some gestures and eye contact so that audiences can notice some important information. The pen casting is also used to reduce their cognitive overload. Consequently, this can support the episodic buffering to help viewers to establish a more comprehensive knowledge and a concrete memory. 
However, what makes me confused is that the audience retention doesn't show they are more engaging with my video when the pen casting appears. So the practical value of can style table drawing need to be confirmed. Another thing that I'm not satisfied is that I didn't generate the emotion of excitement and stimulation which is recommended in the feedback. Some of my friends remind me that when my video moves to pen casting, the voiceover is lack of enthusiasm, which may distract viewers' attention and make them feel less engaging. I guess this is one of the explanations why the audience's retention doesn't go up when pen casting starts. So next time, I will try my best to produce an enthusiastic feeling. My promotion, viral media life cycle and YouTube metrics. My promotion work follows the guidance from Kuan and Linvo. The social media copywriting of both videos shows the link and related hashtag, such as Game of Thrones, which can propel my tweets into massive new audiences. As we can see from the traffic sources, there are 56 and 64% of viewers are from direct or unknown to watch my media geek and media culture videos, which is much higher than viewers from channel pages. I think it directly shows the success of putting the link in my promotion work. The viral media life cycle is the model that analyzes the initial stage of viral video, which can directly embody my diffusion and promotional strategies. Viewing the life cycle of the media geek video, there is a decay phase at the beginning. I think it's caused by my wrong social media campaigning of my videos. I neglect the importance of time bound, dimension in smart system, and choose to promote my video two days later. We can see the views of video grew after January 9th reached the peak and appears the decay phase. I think it is because I started to promote my video on social media platforms, including WeChat, Facebook, and Twitter. This phenomenon also fits Nathan and Hemsley's idea that the socially driven videos ramped up to a peak and gradually decayed. What surprised me is the second peak of my video. I think it is caused by the weak tie, indicating my media geek video is more contagious. My sister in Canada and some of my friends in Hong Kong and the US who major in media studies retweeted my video, which exactly fits my target audiences, so that the top geographies indicate there are 26.2% of viewers are from these areas. Their retweets allow message to diffuse from my local cluster to wider social networks that I have weak tie. The second peak is even higher than the first one, which helps me to understand that individuals like to receive novel ideas from weak tie than strong tie. The overall trend of the life cycle of my media culture video is similar to the media geek one. However, the amount of view and share of it is less. I think the failure is caused by the cluster of weak tie in Hong Kong and Canada fail to fit my target audiences who are interested in traveling in Europe. I should have noticed it early and tried to make my vlog being retweeted by some other social media platforms that can easily reach my target audiences, such like the official account of School of the Arts in Instagram. Although the video is not contagious enough, the comment of my travel vlog helps it to be more engaging. Most of the comments applaud that my video is useful, encouraging, or fascinating. I think the engagement through commenting can show the positive participation of my viewers, and these positive comments will help to provide newcomers with more engaging watching experience. Conclusion and Reflection In conclusion, my Media Geek video is more contagious due to the steps framework and the weak tie, and the Media Culture video can engage viewers better because of my genre-specific production. There are a lot of practical experiences that I can improve in my future work. First, I'm not sufficient in applying the characteristic of emotion, so next time, I will pay attention to generating more enthusiastic feeling to make my video go viral and engage more audiences. Second, what I should also improve is my social media campaigning. I should notice the time bound and promote my video in different social networks to engage more target audiences. This is all about my video essay. If you like this video, please click like, leave your comment, and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!